Hello, and welcome to our summary of infection control for the dental assistant. In this course, students learn the principles of properly preparing themselves and others to prevent infection and the spread of diseases in the dental office. Let's dive in. One of the key topics covered in this course is government regulating agencies that oversee infection control in dental practices. These agencies set standards and guidelines for infection control practices that must be followed to ensure patient and staff safety. Examples of these agencies include the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA. Next, the course covers infection control guidelines that dental assistants must follow to prevent the spread of diseases. These guidelines cover topics such as hand hygiene, sterilization and disinfection of instruments and surfaces, and the proper use of personal protective equipment PPE. Speaking of PPE, the course emphasizes the importance of using the right PPE to prevent exposure to infectious agents. This includes gloves, masks, protective eyewear, and gowns. Students learn how to select and use the appropriate PPE for each situation, as well as how to properly don and doff, put on and take off PPE to avoid contamination. The course also covers the proper disposal and transportation of various types of waste that may be generated in a dental practice, such as sharps, biohazardous materials, and general waste. Students learn about the different types of containers and labels that must be used for each type of waste, as well as the regulations surrounding transportation of hazardous materials. In conclusion, infection control for the dental assistant is a vital course for any dental assistant to take. By learning about government regulating agencies, infection control guidelines, proper PPE, and safe waste disposal and transportation, students can help prevent the spread of diseases in the dental office and keep both patients and staff safe. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this summary helpful.